Today we are talking about the headphones from Audio Technica, the ATH M40X. Now, with that model, you get an awful lot of headphones with it. So we're going to cover everything from the headband all the way to the ear pads. Also talk about the cables included and if these might be the right set of headphones for you. You'll notice I have them in a folded position. I do that because I do like to have these headphones stretch out a little bit. It's there. I'm not going to say they're overly tight when you buy them, but you can tell you're wearing them when you have them on. Uh, in their price point, they do an awful lot and they certainly fit snug. So if it's a small head, you've got no worries there. Big head, big ears. You got to start thinking about these things. And that's what's going on here. I just like to have them stretch out a little bit. I could pull the band out, maybe do it that way, but I just like leaving them folded inward. When it comes to the build quality, let's go through all the actual moving parts because amazingly enough for a set of headphones, headphones do have a lot of moving parts. For the headband itself, you're looking at padding on the inside and then a solid on the outside. Now the actual padding covers the whole thing. So there's nothing that's gonna fall off on the inside, which is a big deal. Occasionally you'll see headphones where the inside padding is just glued on to an actual plastic housing. And over time from stretching, those just kind of pop off. That doesn't happen with these headphones. They're all kind of built into one solid product. It's all been stitched together really nicely together. So good job there. And I do like branding and I do like the fact they put the branding on the outside. It's really nice. From there, you get to the actual sliders, which is the adjustments on the side that allow you to push the headphones in and out. Now on this one here, the metal strapping is on the outside, which is good because that's going to give you flexibility and durability. And to help guide it properly on the inside, there is a plastic guide, which is all built into one assembly. That's all screwed in through this actual side clip, which is nice. Again, everything's nice, secured, screwed together. Below that, we get to what they call the pivot. So you need to pivot your headphones. You're going to pivot right here. Now, the pivot allows you to basically have the headphones outwards, have them sit comfortably on your neck. And that pivot is also what helps give you the most comfortable fit possible because the headphones don't just move back and forward, like up and down this way. They'll actually adjust your head back to front. So that's a big plus right there. So the pivot once again is actually assembly rod, which is separate from the actual arm, which is the wishbone right here. And the actual arm itself, again, still all plastic and it actually does feel secure. They pivot right in onto themselves. There's nothing really stopping it from actually going in. There's no, uh, you know, quarter of the way stopper, that sort of thing. So either you have them on, you have them off, and when you have them off, you can easily move them about. The arm then is secured to the rear cup, and again, it's secured on both sides. So it's all about giving you flexibility in the headphones to make them as comfortable as possible. The padding is super comfortable, and there's a secondary lining pad on the inside covering up all the plastic where the 40 millimeter driver is hiding behind it. When you actually have them on, they feel pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to complain about them. These probably wouldn't be a set of headphones I would have on for six hours or eight hours a day. If I had to wear these for two hours, I'd feel they pretty comfortable for that. Uh, I've got like Dumbo ears and they push on the outside just a bit. So personally, I would have to get something maybe a little bit larger, but if you have regular size ears, this is going to work out pretty good. Now, outside of that, the sound quality is phenomenal. But just before we get to the sound quality, let's talk about these, the cables that are included. You get two cables with it. And the important part with the entire series is these attachments are removable. You just turn them, pull them out just like that. And you can just pop them back in and you can buy replacements. They're not hard to find. They're not hiding the replacement cables. They're out there, they're available. They're very generic for Audio-Technica. They give you a three meter straight cable, which is great because that's gonna get you almost 10 feet of length. And if you need to cross over a studio table, sometimes that's what you're looking for. If you're up close and you don't wanna have all this extra wire hanging around, but you do wanna have flexibility, they also give you a three meter coiled cable which again, same attachments at the end. And when it comes to the fittings, you're going to get both. They do give you the quarter inch stereo adapter so you can plug it into your audio interface or mixing board, no problem. And of course you can always take it off and have the 3.5 connection for your phone or tablet or laptop. When it comes to sound quality, it is a good swing up from, let's say, the M30. You're definitely going to get more bass response out of it when it's deserved. So it's not artificial bass. It's going to be a good replication of what you're putting into it. Uh, again, better than the M30. And the M50 is going to give you even a lower response 
the ceiling is the same on both of them. So I think our mids and highs pretty much feel the same between the 40 and the 50, though the 40 does seem to respond better than the 30 does. It's just an opinion. Sound is very, you know, what I think is good is not necessarily the same as what somebody else thinks is good. Uh, I just get to listen to a lot of different headphones and Audio Technica consistently has this nice studio feel to it. And the M40 definitely fits into that category. So outside of that, do I like the M40s? I think they're really good. Like I said before, if I needed a set of headphones for a podcast, let's say, where I'm going to have guests or maybe myself, I'm going to be wearing them for only two hours or three hours while the actual podcast is being recorded. These are an awesome set of headphones for doing that. If I have to do a voiceover, these headphones will work out really well for voiceovers. No problems there. If it's a spoken word somebody does, this is also good. I wouldn't necessarily use these particular headphones if I was a, a singer. If I was a singer, I'd probably definitely want to bump up to the 50 or something, you know, even higher than that. But definitely if you're doing the spoken word, podcasting, and if you're working on anything live. So if you're definitely looking at something for a live podcast or for gaming purposes, again, two to three hour comfort fit would definitely be my chosen place for this. Now, the last two things I'm going to take note of is if you're looking for the left and right setting on it, the cable is always on your left side. That's an easy way to tell. It's also marked on the inside. So it's like, where do they mark the left and right for headphones? Different companies do it differently. In this case, the actual M40X is labeled internally. So right here, it actually has an L and on the other side, opposite to the cord, it has an R. And for those of you who care about where things are made, uh, they actually uh, invest a little bit more in manufacturing the product because this product was actually made in Taiwan. So it doesn't mean it's better than having manufactured it somewhere else. Well, I hope this video helped you out a bit in making the choice on the actual Audio-Technica ATH M40X. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. Like I say, thanks for watching and bye for now.